So I um, was just scrolling through my little Google feed the other day, and the title of this article is, Your Washing Machine Could Be Sending 3.7 Gigabytes of Data a Day. LG washing machine owner disconnected his device from Wi-Fi router, noticing excessive outgoing daily data traffic. Now, you read through the article, and we're still not sure why it was doing that. <laughs> Uh, we don't know if it was a glitch in his, his router software or if it was actually doing it. Um, was there some type of hack? Uh, it does say that there might have been something that was recently patched to mitigate some potential issue. But regardless of, of what the true cause was or if it was even actually happening, which, yeah, we're still trying to figure that one out. Um, my thought process and my concern, uh, my, you know, realization is one, yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy learning about tech, thoroughly enjoy the, some of the interconnectedness that does exist um, with us today in, in 2024. However, sometimes things just don't need to be connected to the internet. That's, that's really what it boils down to. I, I get the conveniences that come along. Like right now, I know it would be a perfect thing I have uh, a room above the garage that unfortunately is not climate controlled the way that it needs to be. So in the summer it gets super hot unless we turn on the window AC unit and in the winter it gets super cold unless we have a, a space heater turned on. And I know that yeah, if I used a device that was connected to the network, I could turn that device on from wherever I am. So when I'm out and about during the summer months, all right, I know I'm coming home, let me go ahead and turn on the air. Same thing with the heat. Let me turn on the heat when I'm out and about. In the morning, sometimes I'm going to go up there and do some work when it's cold or hot. I could, from the comfort of my bed, say, hey, let me just tap it, tap something on my phone and turn on the heater or the air conditioner. I know the convenience. I, I completely get it. But as this is just one example, uh, if it happened to be a hack, every new device connected to the network is a potential platform or potential avenue for uh, an evildoer <laughs> to potentially compromise your network. Hopefully things have been configured on your router to prevent that from happening. Also your ISP has some security things uh, set up and then you want the device manufacturer to have installed whatever uh, patches that might be required or just have the initial firmware configured to try to mitigate and reduce the uh, attack surface <laughs> is the, I think the appropriate, term, appropriate terminology. But yeah, it's, it's inevitable. Like it's just said, uh, the more devices you have, just the more surfaces that there are and the more possibility for something to go wrong. Uh, another way of looking at it, which is true, and Lewis Rossman is a, a YouTuber that I watch. I haven't watched as much of his stuff lately, but um, one thing that he does point out is the fact that once you do connect these devices to the network, that allows the company to talk to the device. And you would hope that with this interconnectedness, the only thing that, that, that results from it is an improved experience. But from time to time again, Lewis Rossman points out the fact that sometimes these companies will now just brick your device for what, whether intentionally or unintentionally, some type of software update that is rendered, that, that, that is pushed out to your device might then render your device useless. And now is that the first thing you should be concerned about? No, it isn't. But when you allow that type of communication from your device to the, the OEM, it's a possibility. Uh, and I just think it is something to be concerned about. Uh, I mean, I can't think of one specific video that I'm trying to think about, but it, you know, it was some device and I was just like, oh yeah, this company now is just removing a feature. And you're like, why? <laughs> why is it doing that? I, 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 I don't like the fact that it can do that. I paid for it and now it's just saying, nope. We're no longer going to offer that as an option. So, uh, so yeah, needless to say, the window AC unit that I have upstairs could be connected to the network. For some reason, when I set it up, when I bought it last summer and attempted to use it, yeah, it, it just would not connect to the network because you needed the app and the app needed to talk to the, to, the, to the device and the device would recognize, I guess, an internet network and then what, what it's supposed to work. It never got it working. So... I don't have any real complaints about it, but it is just something that is notable. Um, and 
I'm on the fence about, yeah, how many devices do I want to connect to the network? And of the devices that I have, how many of those do I actually like, need to connect? So, yeah, if this person's uh, washing machine truly is sending out almost four gigabytes uh, of data every day, why is it doing that? And you should be cautious of the amount of data that some of your smart home devices might be sending back to, to their home, home companies as well.